Hi there, I'm Dan and welcome to my series of top tips. Now I say my series because of course I'm joined by the lovely Sarah Moore. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Super, because you're going to show us how to make the classic glacé icing. Yes. Now where might we have seen that before? Glacé icing is a really simple, old-fashioned sugar and water icing. You typically find it on uh, cupcakes or on top of a sponge or a lemon drizzle or even on glazed donuts. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. But it's a kind of runny icing that you pour on rather than pipe. So what do we need? It's dead easy. All you need is icing sugar mm -hmm. and water. Okay? Two ingredients. Two ingredients. So there's no fat in this at all. Ooh. Okay, so, so I've yep. sifted uh, exactly. I've sifted my icing sugar so yep. there's no lumps in it. Okay. And you can put that into a stand mixer. I would recommend using a stand mixer or a handheld electric mixer with a balloon whisk fitted for this. Balloon whisk. You can do it yeah. by hand if you're doing a small quantity. That's really easy. I'm not easy. feeling strong, so it's fine. But it's much quicker and easier with a stand mixer. Okay. Now, once you put your icing sugar into the bowl, we will then switch the mixer on. The reason I haven't added the second ingredient yet is you need very little water. Okay. To, to make your icing to the right consistency, it's a little bit at a time. So I'm going to start off by adding just two tablespoons, and please be careful to measure this accurately, because if you add too much, your icing will be too runny. Okay. So two tablespoons of water, and then if you need to make it runnier, we can always add a little bit more later on. And then once you've added your water, we can then switch the mixer on. Right, yeah. Does that look done to you? Yeah, that looks great, Dan. I'm going to switch it off now. So how much water have you been putting in here? Right, we put in two, and as it, as it mixed, I added an extra one tablespoon of water. Okay. And you want it to get to a consistency of a kind of slow pour. Okay. Because as you put it onto your cake, you don't want it to run off the sides, but you don't want it to sit in a big thick blob on the top. So it's dripping off the balloon whisk here, but that's not perfect. too fast, is it? Yeah, so nicely... that's just right. A nice slow pour. Okay, so I'll remove the whisk get that out of the way and then what we're going to do is make some really simple just cherry topped cupcakes Beautiful. I'm not going to use a piping bag okay or anything like this I'm just going to use a, a couple of teaspoons all right so using your teaspoons literally just take your icing and place it into the middle of the cake like that and slowly it will gradually spread out oh, so gravity's doing its bit Gra exactly gravity does its little bit now, if you made the icing a bit runnier, it would spread more quickly and more thinly. So, for example, if you were making a lemon drizzle cake, you might want it a little bit thinner. Um, so it runs down the sides a bit, but for just for topping little fairy cakes, this, I think, is the perfect consistency. And you can watch it gradually spreading its way out. If you're feeling impatient, you can give it a hand and yep. push it out. But I just like to let it find its own way, and then we can top it with a glacé cherry. Don't leave it till it sets hard to put your topping oh, on okay. because you'll get cracks in it and you want it to set nice and smooth and shiny. So pop your cherry on or your flour or whatever you're going to top them with while the icing's still wet and it will continue to spread. Beautiful. And there you go, glacé icing. Ready to go. Okay. Thank you very much, Sarah. You're and very of welcome. Course, do stay tuned to IdleWorld.tv and our YouTube site to search IdleWorld TV for more of our top tips. Are you ready to eat? Absolutely. Tuck in. <laughs>